This is Abby Glass recording Jing. Okay. All right. Well, I first, I'll just talk to you guys since you're the only one. Um, I first came across this because I thought I was going to have to be homesick with a sick child one day. And we were doing a project where I was like, oh, I really need to be there. How is a sub even going to make sense of that? And I really, being the control freak that I am, needed them to know how I wanted to do it. So, I was kind of looking up because I remember Nancy had talked about how you can, and I've seen other ones on YouTube, how, you know, running through a grade book or whatever, and it's your voice in there showing how to do it. So that morning at 5 o'clock or whatever time it was, I was going through and Googling stuff, and I ran into what's called Jing, and I knew she'd be up at 5, so I, I texted Nancy, and she talked to me about... Um, when I asked her, and I ran into Jing, and I asked her, and she said Jing, and I said, oh, well, great, that's what I'm going to use then. So I just Googled Jing, and it's actually under TechSmith, but um, and it's already downloaded on Jing. Yeah, all these labs have them. So, so do I just go into, like, Yeah, you should just be able to go down and start programs. You might have to scroll down for TechSmith. It's usually at the bottom. And all these laptop or desktops in here have it, correct? Yes. Okay. So once you download it, and I did it at home, this cute little sun comes pops up at the top. And my what my project was is we're doing a telltale heart. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe unit, and there is an interactive version of the story that they can actually make uh, like annotations on. It's a public television type thing. You have to pay for the account, yeah. or you can do some merging of different ones. Okay. Yeah. So the easy thing about this is all you do is you go up to the top, and they have this little sun, and first you have like a capture of the crosshair, and you just go over to what area you would like to capture, and so I just click on this, and then down at the bottom it asks you if you want to just capture this, this image, or if you want to create a video. Redo it if you want to, and this is cancel. And the easy thing about this is if you don't want to do it, you just X it out, and it goes away. But if I want to go back to it, then I can just, it is so user friendly. I think that's an easy that I thought, wow, this is really nice. And in the future, I thought, even if I'm not there, I have a Google group where I share all my stuff. Now that we don't have that line, that's the direction I went. I thought, geez, if the kids, if somebody's absent or if somebody didn't finish it in class, they could easily go back. I could post this to my the explanation to my Google group, and if they have to go home and finish it, then you know, here's my explanation so they can remember what it was. So all you do, I did a video, 
and you say capture video and it asks you which microphone you want to use and obviously it's showing that my webcam has a microphone in it and I'm ready to go and or it'll say built in microphone or something like that and then you just hit continue and then it just tells you when the mic is going to be on and now I'm recording and if you notice on the sides it's showing the little film is moving and then you can just talk for you have five up to five minutes with the free version and you just explain everything that you want to about your project. So I explained that they had to have three of these actions on a page. Each one had to have the correct response. And I just went through, you know, the different procedures that I wanted them to do. And then when I was done, and you don't have to have five minutes, but when I was done, I guess I would just hit stop or finish. And then it's going to ask me what I want to do with it. And I can play it, um, save, or share via screencast.com. Now at home, um, Nancy informed me that here at school, for whatever reason, you can't just share via screen. If you share it via screencast.com, it gives you a URL, it brings you to a different page, and it gives you a URL. You can copy and paste that URL put it in, like I said, my Google group, or in an email, send it off, and they all have access to it. They just click on it, open it up, the video's there. But you said it... Yeah, why don't you save this one to the desktop and I'll okay. walk through that step. Okay. Here at school, for some reason, I get error messages. So okay. we have to log back out and then log back in. So if you just leave it on the desktop, I can find it quickly and then uh, we okay. can walk through that step real quick. So I think I'll let Nancy then take over that's, I mean, it's that simple. I guess I don't really have much more to say about it, except it's extremely easy. User, very user friendly. Do you have a tablet or an iPad? We do at home, but I didn't. I have an iMac, and that's what I did this on. So I don't know. You, are you wondering if it works on that too? TechSmith has a program called Coach's Eye, mm. and Coach's Eye lets you video record like a basketball player taking a shot. And then you can go into drawing tools and make colored arrows about what their stance is supposed to be and what the trajectory of their ball should have been. And you can record audio. So you can do visual and audio editing on your video with Coach's Eye. Like and then, and I think I, our coaches I think we're going to use Oh, cool. Okay. So checking that. Um, all I do here is go back to the internet and log in to screencast.com. And I created an account um, under my email, and it's always posted up on the board for the kids to use. So I'm just gonna log in there. And we use the password nights uh, with no capital letters, so that way they know that. So we sign in, and again, this is a free account. I could have paid for one, and there would have been more availability. But as you can see, they're uploaded process of uploading, you just go over here to upload content, you browse for it, you put it on the desktop, so we'll look for it for the city here, and you just open it, it uploads, it check marks, you just say close, when it comes up, and usually it goes to the bottom, until I tell the kids that, and then it goes to the top, but yeah, there it is. Oh. So then when you click on it, you can set up shares or whatever you want. Um, you can just click on it and play it. And so, like the one you just did, click up mine and then volume one. Hi, is it showing the little film? Uh, it shows just like you want to. And then here we can pause it like we did before. It tells you how long it was, and you can do a full screen. Then down here at the bottom, we can download it so it becomes a file now or a picture if you just want the first frame of it. You can share it by using, this is the URL you were talking about, putting it on your web page. Mm -hmm. Or you can embed this by just copying this text and embedding it. It becomes the box just like YouTube do. Or you can email it on with a message to have people come here and look at it. Um, or you can just upload the attachment and, and use it from there. So it's real quick and easy. All of our kids then, when we did Google Sites and things, they put that link on. And we used to embed, but this year they changed so now the 
had COVID problems. So we haven't had that success yet this year, but um, that way it gives them a choice and they can view it and all that kind of stuff. And it's quick and easy, like you said, it's that gives them a free tool um, and it gives them a free access to the internet for storage because not all of them had Dropbox or other places to store it. So that is about all there is to recording this particular one and using it with the kids. And all of these machines have it and all the high school ones have it, Jane. And you just have to set up an account for them to upload to. I think the thing I like the most about it is that with being in, like, and maybe you know too, Jeff, if you do a lot of projects, just the fact that there's so much that it is hard to explain when you're, if you're not there. Or if you know you're gonna have a, be gone, but you wanna stay on track with a project, because mm -hmm. you don't wanna be you know, behind a day. I know I make a calendar for our project, so we pretty much stay on that calendar. And, God, if you could do that, and then you could keep it. Mm -hmm. And again, if you have a student absent, there's your lesson. Or, you know, there's an explanation of what you did that would just be, it then it's so easy. Yeah. Or if you were absent that day and in the mo your early morning, doesn't take much to, you know, you only have five minutes to talk. Well, and so. this is an easy way to get into the flipping environment because you record it, whether you use Jane yeah. or Coach's Eye or whatever, and you just post it and it's there. and So easy. Yeah. So. I just want, out of curiosity, Nancy, I'm going to see if that, when I put that, URL in my Google Drive if I can open it. Okay. Can I log you out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're taking the shared URL? Yeah. And I putting it on your Word on your uh, Word document? I took the in shared yep, URL that you showed. And instead of saving, I put share to screencast.com. And then it took a while to upload that because it was five minutes. And then as soon as it was done uploading, a, a new tab opened, and it said, here's your video, use this URL. URL. And so you, you're pa you pasted that URL in a document in Google? Yep. And then you could, or you could share that doc with the kids, the Google doc. You know, if that was... Took you right to your video. Quick and so easy. that's pretty slick too. So then I can know I can take that and I just make that link in my Google group, do mm -hmm. a new post, put the link there, and it because that's where they know they go for everything with my unit. And then here's you know my video I did last night. The only thing we might have to keep in mind is uh, Jing is still a little bit behind because they're using flash files. So okay. with all the changes in Chrome and Firefox and things like that. We may or may not have issues with that. Part of it. We haven't yet, but. Yeah. Tell, tail, yeah. Yep. Awesome. So that's another option. I just put it in a, you can share this Google Doc with them. Or you want to go to that TechSmith and let's see if we can find the coach's eye there just so yeah, that those that view this would be able to also have that option of um, just seeing what was available. You can just go to Google and, or TechSmith right there in the URL line. I don't know if we still have it open or not, but if you just, yeah, there. And it should be under products up there in the top left hand corner. And Coach's Eye, right hand side. And just, I mean, you'd have to download it for whichever oh, cool. operating system you want, but again, it does a lot of different things. It breaks it down. And, and I know the coaches were using it. Mm -hmm. So. We'll have to try that out and see if it's any different. Who knew all these fun toys were out there? Okay, so I'm going to end the video. Maybe.